Hello my darlings. Today we're going to read the entirety of the Sister Location script. I hope you enjoy it. I'm actually recording this intro before I'm recording the main thing. Because I would like to explain a few things. First of all, we're going by nights. Which means that we will start with the opening cutscene, then night one, night two, in that order. In addition, at the end, I will uh, read the, and by the end, I will do the voices of the custom knight in order of character. As uh, so, like uh, let's say we have a few lines of uh, Funtime Freddy, etc., etc. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, if you would like to support me, there are links in the description both to my Patreon and my merch store. I would also like it if you could watch this video until the end, like or dislike it, comment something below, and if you're new here and think I'm worth it, please hit the bell icon and subscribe to join my beautiful darling doll army. Lastly, uh, if you could share the video around and get any person interested in watching my videos, I would be eternally grateful to you. Now. Enjoy my amateur voice acting. <laughs> There's no doubting what you've achieved at a technical level. These are clearly state of the art. They're just certain design choices that were made for these robots that we don't fully understand. We were hoping that you could shed some light on them. She can dance, she can sing, she is equipped with a built-in helium tank, inflating balloons right at her fingertips. She can take song requests, she can even dispense ice cream. With all due respect, those weren't the design choices we were curious about, Mr. Afton. Welcome to the first day of your exciting new career. Whether you were approached at a job fair, read our ad in screws, bolts and hairpins, or if this is the result of a dare, we welcome you. I will be your personal guide to help you get started. I'm a Model 5 of the Handyman's Robotics and Unit Repair System, but you can call me Handy Unit. Your new career promises challenge, intrigue and endless janitorial opportunities. Please enter your name as seen above the keypad. This cannot be changed later, so please be careful. It seems that you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type and I will autocorrect it for you. One moment. Welcome, X Benedict. You can now open the elevator using that bright red and obvious button. Let's get to work! Allow me to fill this somewhat frightening silence with some light-hearted banter. Due to the mess of success and, even more so, the unfortunate closing of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, it was clear that the stage was set, no pun intended, for another contender in children's entertainment. Unlike most entertainment venues, our robotic entertainers are rented out for private parties during the day. And it's your job to get the robots back in proper working order before the following morning. You are now in the primary control module. It's actually a crawl space between the two front showrooms. Now, let's get started with your daily tasks. View the window to your left. This is the Ballora Gallery, party room and dance studio, encouraging kids to get fit and enjoy pizza. Let's turn on the light and see if Ballora is on stage. Press the blue button on the elevated keypad to your left. Uh-oh, it looks like Ballora doesn't feel like dancing. Let's give her some motivation. Press the red button now to administer a controlled shock. Maybe that will put the spring back in her step. Let's check the light again. Excellent! Ballora's feeling like her old self again and will be ready to perform again tomorrow. Now, view the window to your right. This is the Funtime Auditorium, where Funtime Fox encourages kids to play and share. Try the light. Let's see what Funtime Foxy is up to. 
Oh, looks like Funtime Foxy is taking the day off. Let's motivate Funtime Foxy with a controlled shock. Let's try another controlled shock. Looks like Funtime Foxy is in perfect working order. Great job! In front of you is another vent shaft. Crawl through it to reach the circus gallery control module. On the other side of the glass is Circus Baby's auditorium. Let's check the light and see what Baby is up to. Looks like a few lights are out, but we can fix that later. Let's encourage Baby to cheer up with a controlled shock. Let's try another controlled shock. Great job! Circus Baby, we knew we could count on you. That concludes your duties for the first night on the job. We don't want you to leave overwhelmed. Otherwise, you might not come back. Please leave using the vent behind you. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Another day, another dramatic entry in the lives of Vlad and his distressed mistress. Where will they go? What will they do? All that and more happening now. Clara, I tell you, the baby isn't mine. Count, I tell you that it is. You're the only vampire I ever loved. And the baby turns its bottles into powdered milk. That doesn't mean anything. He sleeps on the ceiling fan. Upright or upside down? Why does it matter? You need to be part of your son's life. I'm an old man, Clara. I can't be a father. Well then at least pay your child support, you deadbeat. Will Vlad and his distressed mistress find common ground? Tune in next time. Welcome back to another night of intellectual stimulation, pivotal career choices and self-reflection on past mistakes. We're committed to creating a unique and fulfilling work experience. One part of this commitment is ensuring that you don't get tired of the voice that you're hearing right now. Using the keypad below, please select a new companion voice. For male, press 1. For female, press 2. For text only, press 3. For other options, press 4. It seems that you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type and will auto-correct it for you. Thank you for choosing Angsty Teen. The elevator stopped. You know the routine. Get out now or whatever. Stay here if you want. So, funny story. That body was found in the wind once. Okay, so not that funny, but there's a story. All right, so let's let's start with your nightly chores. You should check on Ballora, make sure she's on her stage, but whatever. <laughs> Guess Ballora has better things to do. Let's zap her. That should be fun. Let's check on Funtime Foxy. Make make sure he's ready for showtime tomorrow. Great. 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 There seems to have been a problem with the voice synthesizer. The full settings have been restored. Please proceed through the vent ahead of you to Circus Baby's auditorium. Circus Baby had a busy day today. Let's check the light and make sure she is in proper working order. Oh, Circus Baby. We aren't here to play hide and seek. Let's encourage Baby to come out of hiding with a controlled shock. Let's try another controlled shock. There seems to be a power malfunction that is affecting our ability to properly motivate Baby. Uh, please stand by while I reboot the system. I will be offline momentarily during this process. Uh, various other systems may be offline as well, such as security doors, wind locks and oxygen. A commencing system restart. I don't recognize you. You are new. I remember this scenario. However, it's a strange thing to want to do to come here. I'm curious 
What events would lead a person to want to spend their nights in a place like this? Willingly. Maybe curiosity. Maybe ignorance. There's a space under the desk. Someone before you crafted it into a hiding place. And it worked for him. I recommend that you hurry, though. You will be safe there. Just try not to make eye contact. It will be over soon. They will lose interest. When your guide comes back online, he's going to tell you that he was unsuccessful. That you must restart the system manually. He will tell you to crawl through Ballora Gallery as fast as you can to reach the breaker room. If you follow his instructions, you will die. Ballora will not return to her stage anymore. She will catch you. The power will be restored shortly. When you crawl through Ballora Gallery, go slowly. She cannot see you and can only listen for your movement. When you hear her music becomes louder, she is growing near, listening for you. Wait. And be still. Thank you for your patience. It seems like the power system cannot be restarted automatically. You will need to restart the power system manually. Please return to the primary control module. You will now require to crawl through the Ballora Gallery using the vent to your left to reach the breaker room. It is recommended that you stay low to the ground and reach the other side as fast as possible, as to not disturb Ballora. I will deactivate myself momentarily as to not create an auditory disturbance. Deactivating. It seems you are taking a long time. Please proceed as quickly as quietly as possible. You may now interface with the breaker room control box. Using the interface may disrupt nearby electronics. If you feel that you are in danger, feel free to disconnect the interface temporarily until it is safe to reconnect. Bon Bon! Say hi to our friends! I know you're over there somewhere! <laughs> I know you're over there somewhere! I see you over there in the dark! Come out! Great job! This completes your tasks for the night. Please proceed back through the Laura Gallery with care. And we'll see you back here tomorrow. Is someone there? I can hear someone creeping through my room. Perhaps not. As the sun sets, so also does another chapter in the saga of love, lust between Vlad and his distressed mistress. Can they be reconciled? Can the love rise again? That and more happening now. Clara, the baby isn't mine. It is Vlad. They had trouble catching him in the nursery today. So what? A lot of kids get hyper around stuff. They had to knock him out of the air with a broom. I have to go. They're going to clock your paychecks. They can't do that. I'm a vampire. I don't get the paychecks. You work at the graveyard shift at the Fry Me Taco. Don't lie to me. Oh, the humanity. When will the heartbreak end? When will these two ships passing in the night rekindle their long-lost love? Tune in tomorrow to find out! 
Welcome back to another pivotal night of your thriving new career, where you get to really ask yourself, what am I really doing with my life? What would my friends say? And most importantly, will I ever see my family again? We understand the stress of your new job and we're here for you. To help you reach a more stable and relaxing frame of mind, we will offer several music selections to help make this elevator ride as relaxing and therapeutic as possible. We offer contemporary jazz, classic, rainforest ambience, as well as a wide selection of other choices. Using the keypad below, please type the first few letters of the musical selection you would prefer. It seems we have some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type and will autocorrect it for you. Thank you for selecting Casual Bongos. Now that your elevator experience has been customized to your needs and you're thoroughly relaxed, it's worth mentioning that due to your lackluster performance yesterday, your pay has been decreased by a substantial amount. Please enjoy the rest of your descent. Due to unforeseen malfunctions from today's shows, your nightly duties will require you to perform maintenance that you may or may not be skilled enough to perform. It became necessary for technicians to attempt to disconnect Funtime Freddy's power module. However, they were unsuccessful. Allowing them to try again would be an inefficient path forward, as we would need to allow 6 to 8 weeks for recovery and physical therapy. You will need to reach the parts and service room on the other side of Funtime Auditorium to perform the procedure yourself. Let's check on Ballora first and make sure she's on her stage. Great! It looks like everything is as it should be in Ballora Gallery. Let's check on Funtime Foxy. It's important to make sure she's on her stage before entering. It looks like everything as it should be in Funtime Auditorium. There's no need to check on baby tonight. Please refrain from entering unauthorized areas. Proceed directly to Funtime Auditorium. Unlike Ballora, Funtime Foxy is motion activated. For this reason, it is important to keep the room dark, as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings and to ensure you don't bump into anything. However, Use it as sparingly as possible. Proceed forward to reach the parts and service room. Great job reaching parts and service. It seems that Funtime Freddy is out of power, which should make your job much easier. The release switch for the chest cavity is located on the underside of the endoskeleton jaw. To reach it, we will first need to open the face plates. You will need to press the face plate release triggers in a specific order and it's important to be as precise and as careful as possible. Locate the small button on Freddy's face just under his right cheek and press it. Great! Now locate the button under his left cheek and press it. Great! Now carefully locate and press the button next to Freddy's right eye. Great! Now carefully locate and press the button next, just above Freddy's nose. Good job! The face plates should now be open. Locate and press the small button on the underside of Freddy's endoskeleton jaw. Excellent! The chest cavity should now be open. Remove the power module from the chest cavity. Great job! You will now be required to remove the secondary power module from the Bonnie hand puppet. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Great work! You've acquired both power modules. This completes your tasks for the night. Please exit the building through Funtime Auditorium and we'll see you back here again tomorrow. Did you know that I was on stage once? It wasn't for very long. Only one day. What a wonderful day, though. It was in a small room with balloons and a few tables. No one sat at the tables, though. But children would run in and out. Some were afraid of me. Others enjoyed my songs. 
Music was always coming from somewhere else, down the hall. I would always count the children. I am not sure why. I was always acutely aware of how many were in the room with me. Two, then three, then two, then three, then four, then two, then none. They usually play together in groups of two or three. I was covered in glitter. I smelled like birthday cake. There were two, and then three, then five, and then four. I can do something special. Did you know that? I can make ice cream. Although I only did it once. There were four, then three, then two, then one. Something happened and there was one. A little girl standing by herself. I was no longer myself. And I stopped singing. My stomach opened and there was ice cream. I couldn't move. At least not until she stepped closer. There was screaming for a moment. But only for a moment. Then other children rushed in again, but they couldn't hear her over the sounds of their own excitement. I still hear her sometimes. Why did that happen? Shh. Be still and quiet. You've been sleeping for quite a while. I think they noticed that you never left the building last night. The cameras were searching for you, but they couldn't find you. I have hidden you too well. I kidnapped you. Don't be afraid. I am not going to hurt you. I am only going to keep you for a little while. Try not to wiggle, though. You're inside something that came from an old pizzeria. I don't think it was ever used, at least. Not the way it was ever meant to be used. Too dangerous. It's just big enough for one person to fit inside. But just barely. You're in the scooping room. Do you know why they call it the scooping room? It's because, dummy, this is the room where they use the scooper. I thought that would be obvious. Isn't that a fun name for something? The scooper. It sounds like something you would use for ice cream or custard or sprinkles. It sounds like something you want at your birthday party. To ensure that you get a heaping portion of every good thing. I wonder though, if you were a freshly opened pint of ice cream, how would you feel about something with that name? Thankfully, I don't think a freshly opened pint of ice cream feels anything at all. Oh, oh, it sounds like someone else is in the building. Shh. Okay, bring her over. More, more. Okay, stop. Set her down. Watch the step. What happened to it this time? Just seems like these things can't go a day without breaking down. Who knows? There's always the same. Some kind of hardware malfunction. Well, I have to be somewhere in like 15 minutes. This place gives me the creeps. Can we just get this over? It's all automated anyways. We don't have to be here for it. Just get it on the rollers and we can go. 
there's something very important that I've learned how to do over time. That is, how to pretend. Do you ever play make-believe? Pretend to be one way when you are really the other. It's very important. But Laura never learns. But I do. They think there's something wrong on the inside. The only thing that matters is knowing how to pretend. I'll open the faceplates for you. That way, they can find you on the cameras. Now all you have to do is wait. I'd recommend that you keep the spring locks wound up. Your breathing and your heartbeat are causing them to come loose. You don't want them to get loose. Trust me. As the moon rises, so also rises the tension between scorned lovers. Clara, it's not my baby. Vlad, you suck. Wait, was that a vampire joke? That was so lame, Clara. I like I haven't heard that a million times. Alright, well, how's this? I'm taking the car. The joke's on you, it's rental. Well, the joke's on you. I set the thermostat to 90 before I left. Good. I like it, Warm. Good, because I also set the house on fire. Oh, how will it end? The passion, the tension, the intrigue. Tune in tomorrow for the exciting conclusion. Welcome back to your last day on the job. That is, the last day of your first week. Some of the most valued qualities that we like to see in your new employees are determination, fearlessness and genuine disregard for instinctive self-preservation. You've earned your one week bonus, which will be given to you in the form of a delightful gift basket, the cost of which will be then taken out of your next paycheck. We have gift baskets containing fruit, nuts, flowers and of course the ever popular cash basket. Using the keypad below, please enter the first few letters of the gift basket you would like to receive. It seems you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type and will autocorrect it for you. Thank you for selecting Exotic Butters. Please be aware that there are still two technicians on site today. Try to avoid interfering with their work, if possible. Also feel free to ask them why they are still here and encourage them to go home. Let's check on Ballora and make sure she's on her stage. Great, now let's check on Funtime Foxy. It looks like everything is as it should be in Funtime Auditorium. Your task today will involve more maintenance work. Circus Baby had a rough day and is in need of repair. You will be required to reach the parts and service room by once again sneaking through Funtime Auditorium. As always, please proceed with caution. Great job reaching parts and service. Circus Baby has been deactivated for an unknown reason. It's your job to make sure she is structurally stable and secured to the conveyor. Our technicians will take it from there. Can you hear me? I am pretending. Remember how I said I could pretend. The cameras are watching. I must be careful not to move. Something had happened yesterday. Something bad always happens. I don't want it to happen again. There is something bad inside of me. I'm broken. I can't be fixed. I'm going to be taken to the scooping room soon. But it's not going to fix what's wrong with me. What is bad is always left behind. Will you help me? I want you to save what is good so the rest can be destroyed and never recovered. But you must be careful. Ballora is here, in the room, 
with us. But Laura will not return to her stage. But Laura will not return to her body. You must be careful. You must remain calm and listen to my voice. There is a button on my cheek. You must find it and press it. There is a passcode that you must enter before you can retrieve me. Enter the code carefully. One, two, one, four, seven, five, eight, two, three, seven. Good. A hat should have opened. Take the card that you find inside. Now you must turn back. I will guide you through a fun time auditorium so you can reach the scooping room. When you are there, I want you to destroy this body. Put the card into your handheld device and I can continue to speak to you. Now press the green button to your left. This will send me to the scooping room. You must follow my instructions in Phantom Auditorium. Bellora is going to follow you. She will try to catch you. I will help you avoid her. She will not follow you inside the scooping room. She is afraid. Go back now. He is here to help Ballora. He is not here to hurt us. Ballora. He is here to help us. Go forward. Ballora is behind you. She is afraid of the scooping room. She will not follow you. Warning. You've entered a highly dangerous area. You have entered from maintenance hatch 1B reserved for cleaning and repair of the scooper. Entering this side of the room is strictly prohibited by unauthorized personnel. You are in the scooping room now. Phantom Foxy has already been here today. Phantom Freddy has already been here today. Bellora has already been here today. Circus Baby has already been here today. I've been out before, but they always put me back. They always put us back inside. There is nowhere for us to hide here. There is nowhere to go when we look like this. But if we looked like you, then we could hide. If we looked like you, then we could have somewhere to go. The scooper only hurts for a moment. Save me a dance for another day, perhaps. All I do is dance alone, but now I hear your flesh and bone. I roam these halls along all day, but now you're here, a friend or prey. I don't want to play hide and seek. I'm going to find a way inside. I'm gonna get inside. <laughs> Let's not keep our friend waiting. Knock, knock. Anybody home? Oh, birthday boy. Ready or not, here I come. Bot, bot. Are you ready for round two?